fellas, Mr. Wilk, and today I have a new tip for you. I picked up a new gun, and I'm going to show you how I change out the fiber optic sight. I'm going to do a review on this, of course, the uh, Beretta 92X Performance. I haven't shot it yet, um, but hopefully this weekend I can take it out and shoot it. But I've been meaning to change out this front sight first, and I want to show you how I do it. Uh, first thing you do is you have to determine what size you already have if you're just changing out the the uh, fiber rod itself so what you do is you take a tone or you know toenail clipper clip off the end I already did because I needed to figure out what size I needed so once you clip one end off you can take the bulb out and get some calipers and this is what my size is 0 0.058 uh, closest one that they sell is 60 thousandths and this is from true glow so that's the first thing you need to do is make sure you have the right size because they do make different sizes but uh you can get these from amazon um or midway several places and different companies make them too so we already determined i need a 60 thousandths um fiber optic rod so i got them and they make these five colors from true glow and of course, I'm going with green. That's my favorite as far as optics. But it comes with a red, ruby red, or I guess this one is a red, and then ruby red, yellow, and orange. I guess it depends on how you look at them. But these are the colors that it comes with. But I'm sticking with green, and I'm going to keep the rest for if I need to work on someone else's gun. So what I like to do, instead of using a lighter like I've seen other people do, well, first off, let me get this slide off. Uh, so a lot of people use the lighter to get it uh, in there. But I like to use a soldering iron, which I should have had heated already. <laughs> Hang on one sec. All right, I'm back, and my soldering iron is a little is warmed up now. And I actually had a little bit of issues. I had to ream it out a little bit, the hole, because it was the rod would fit, but it was scraping as it went in, and it was causing the line to show. So I just uh, clipped that end off, and I'm starting fresh now. But it goes in easily now. And actually, I'm going to go in the other way. And you just need enough sticking out for you to make a, a bulge. Now, the reason I like the soldering iron more than, say, a lighter is because it's a controlled heat. It's not, um, you're not having any oxidation happen. Um, it's, a, it's a more direct heat, too. So I'm going to try and do this on camera, but I'm going to be looking away. So you don't touch it to it, you just bring it close, just like you would with the lighter. And then you let the little bulge happen. You can see, I'm gonna pull this back. Okay. So you can kind of see there we got a nice bulge on it. That's not bad. Now, put that on the proper thing. <laughs> now you just want to cut it on the other end. Again, just enough for it to bubble up. lost my rod <laughs> so there it is and I also like it to have a clean edge because that's gonna give you a more uniform uh, bulge so you're not having like um, you know one side mushroom over more than the other so once you get one in you keep pressure on it 
and then do the same thing on the other end without burning yourself okay let me see if y'all can see it all right There you go. Hmm. I'm a little bit of a perfectionist, so I'm probably gonna heat that up again. Try to get the bottom more uniform. Let's see. There you go. Y'all kind of get the gist of it. I'm probably going to redo this off camera, <laughs> but you get the gist of it. This is probably just fine enough for everybody else, but for me, I like it to be a little bit more uniform. So I am going to go perfect this off camera, but let me show you what it looks like on the slide. Or on the frame, I mean. There we go. Much better than red, I think. I like that a lot better. I think yellow would have looked good too, but I like green. <laughs> so there we go. All right, so look forward to um, shooting this and getting a review out there for y'all. And stay tuned. I'll see y'all next time.